Descartes had a very interesting view when it came to the philosophy of mind, which is the study of the mind, what the mind does, and what's its relationship with the body. He pretty much coined Cartesian dualism, and Cartesian dualism implies that the mind and the body are completely distinct entities. But before we can explain this, before we can actually elaborate on how he came to this conclusion, we have to first understand his views on epistemology and metaphysics. So let's start off with the uh, epistemological views of Descartes. So Descartes doubted everything, we know this, we call it the methodological skepticism. And he kept doubting until he can come to a place of certainty. And in order to ask questions about the nature of anything, there has to be something presently asking the question. And Descartes coined this famous phrase, I'm sure you've heard of it, it's been translated so many times. The French is je pense donc je suis, the Latin is cogito ergo sum and the English is, I think, therefore, I am. And this is the indubitable phrase for Descartes. Let's move on now to the metaphysics, or the study of what exists. So Descartes believed that there were three substances. The first one was God, and God was the most powerful. The second was extended substance, and this is pretty much things that we receive with our sense data. So this screen is considered uh, extended space because you are seeing it with your eyes, and my voice is extended because you are hearing it with your ears. It's all sense data. And then the third substance is the mind. And Descartes, uh, he considered the mind and the extended substance completely different substances. You might wonder why they're not one. The reason why is because, remember, the mind is its own substance because it, we can actually prove the existence of it. Remember, I think, therefore I am. We know that we think. Thinking is definitely there without a distant doubt of anything. As opposed to the uh, extended substance, the sense data, that can actually be doubted. And that's up for doubt when it comes to Descartes' um, methodological skepticism as we talked about in the last segment. Now we are to the philosophy of mind, and now I can finally explain Cartesian dualism, what this whole video is about. I had to go through those two things, the metaphysics and the epistemology, before I can do this. But now I'm ready, let's get this over The with. mind cannot be doubted. However, our body can for Descartes, because we only know our body through our senses. I can feel it, I can smell it. I just know what my body is because of my senses, and I only know my body through my senses. Unlike the mind, we know it's there because in order to ask questions of the nature of existence, or anything, there has to be something presently asking the question, and that's the mind. So we know that there has to be, or for Descartes, he believed that there has to be some distinction, something that separates the things we can prove and the things that we can't prove. So to sum it up, we can prove the mind, we can't prove the body. Therefore, the mind and the body are distinct. So, not all of Descartes' contemporaries agreed with this Cartesian dualism. Namely, one of them was Princess Isabella of Bohemia, who said we couldn't do bodily functions if this philosophy was true. If I want my arm to go up in the air, the, uh, the impulse that my brain sends to my limb has to be a special type relationship, or it would entail that there is a special relationship between my mind and my body. I, for one, have my own beef, my own personal criticism of this, and uh, to demonstrate, I will use this pyramid, which was a souvenir from my buddy Michael from Egypt, who actually went to Egypt last summer, and he got me this pyramid, so, okay, here we go. I can prove to you that this pyramid is brown. You see it? Look, I can show it nice to the camera right in front of you. Clearly, it's brown. It's brown, okay. But, can I prove to you that it's made out of aluminum? Can I say this is made out of aluminum? Well, there's no way for you to know that, can you? So I can prove that it's brown, but I can't prove that it's made out of aluminum. Does that mean that it's not both? Because according to Descartes, it has to be. There has to be some kind of distinction between the brown and the aluminum. But we can both, you know, say this is clearly both, you know? So. Uh, that's pretty much my views, so, sorry, this is supposed to be about Descartes only, not about me, but, have a good day, I hope you like my video, I love you, I love you, I love you, God bless.